Hello fellow Strong Collectors. We've got some more DC Multiverse leaks. This is going to be a lot of Jokerized things, so brace yourselves for that. But there is some interesting uh, new figures here that we've never seen before, so stay tuned and let's talk about it. Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Strong Collectors Podcast. We've got a few more leaks for the DC Multiverse 7-inch McFarlane line. Uh, a lot of these are going to be the same, or not the same, but like, you know how Todd likes to jokerize everything, and he's not stopping now. So, um, <laughs> Thank the Lord. <laughs> we do have some interesting stuff here too, um, but... I, we're going to get the Jokerized stuff out of the way first, and then we'll talk about some of the other ones that are a little bit more new or probably more collector-worthy. Um, the first one, we have a Riddler that is Jokerized. So I would assume this is probably going to be like the classic-looking yeah. Riddler that they just put out. There's like the one with the questions on him, and then there's the Platinum one without the question marks on him. So I guess we're jokerizing that, probably. I don't know. Jordan, what's the next one? <laughs> uh, you've got a Joker as Batman, gold label. Okay. So um, I, I think we had had a Joker as Batman before. So Is it like, like Joker in a Batman suit? I think so, yeah. That's how I read it. So maybe this is an old one, but I think this this says it's all for Q4. And that other one has been out for a while, so don't. It must be we're getting another one. If that first one wasn't good enough, uh, then Todd's like, I can do better. I know it <laughs> exactly. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I, I think it would be kind of more fun if it was like Joker in a Batman costume that clearly didn't fit, because I think that last one he kind of came out like Joker was like Batman looking, like kind of more buff yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Where I would want like a skinny Joker in like an oversized Batman suit, it's where it's kind of like, like droopy, maybe. yeah, kind of falling off him. Yeah, I think that would be more interesting. Um, then you're gonna get an infected Superman as Joker. <laughs> so I'm sorry, it's like three specific things. It's Superman, but it's infected Superman, and on top of that, it's infected Superman as the Joker. Right. I, I don't know. I mean, if you want your Superman looking like Joker, that's, <laughs> you're going to get him. Well, it's like, not only it's like, I don't want a regular Superman, I want an infected Superman. <laughs> it's like, you know what? Well, it's like Todd's just sitting with like, it's just like a hat that he's just drawing in. Yeah. It's like, infected Superman. Joker. Uh, <laughs> let's that's, do it. I, I'm sure somebody's probably done this, but it's kind of like that, like you spin the wheel and it's going to come out right. of this like gold label platinum edition. It's just like, <laughs> if it was divided into 10 categories, nine of them are jokerized. <laughs> it's like a board meeting. They're all just, Todd's got a big wheel. What are we going to do today, guys? <laughs> <laughs> or that other meme of like, they're sitting in the boardroom where you've got the employees and then one of them's like, what if we made, you know, like a uh, classic yeah. multiverse Wonder Woman? And then they're like, throw them out the window and then somebody else is like what if we jokerized everything and it's like ah you get the trophy <laughs> this guy gets it <laughs> all right you want to give us our last and yeah. best jokerized <laughs> and then we have joker as joker <laughs> because you have to distinguish that now because <laughs> he's as so many other things that if you don't distinguish he's as the joker how would you know what he is supposed to be so Joker's just having like an identity crisis. He just can't, he can't get it together. That would be such a funny like storyline, like because they've done identity crisis before, but it's just identity crisis where Joker's head is in the middle, and there's all these other like offshoots of Superman infected, Jokerized, Batman, Jokerized, Joker as <laughs> Batman, Joker as <laughs> Jokerized Riddler. And it's just him sitting in like the therapy office, just I don't know who I am anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Todd stretching him too thin. Yeah, that one. But what? I don't know. I don't even know what. It's it's a gold label, so it could be anything. Um, 
I mean, he's he's done the like three Jokers with kind of mm-hmm. the Killing Joke, the comedian, and whatever those other ones were. Yeah, I don't. I mean, Joker's done enough different things. Like, I don't think he's done a Hush Joker yet, which he's been doing a lot of Hush things. But I think that would be like dis- it would distinguish it as Hush Joker if he was going right. to do that. So I don't know. I mean. Yeah, we'll just wait and see. I'm sure, I'm sure he's going to get to every iteration of Joker with every outfit he's ever worn. Um, then we've got a Mr. Mixelplick, but vampire version. So, I mean, I would assume that that means that we're going to eventually have a normal Mr. Regular? Mixelplick. And then a Joker. <laughs> <laughs> and then a Joker, Ice Mr. Mixelplicks. <laughs> but I think... This one kind of confuses me because Mr. Mixelplick is like a pretty small, impish guy, right? Right, yeah. But Todd won't give you the classic Wonder Woman because female figures are smaller, less plastic in a box. Mr. Mixelplick has more pl- plastic in this box than a classic Wonder Woman would? That seems a little yeah backwards to me. So maybe that, you're going to be getting some crazy accessories with this one or something. Because otherwise, how does Todd justify the amount of plastic for this? Yeah. So, I don't know. Yeah, I am i don't know if, like, is he different as a vampire? I'm assuming he's, like, still the same. Yeah. Size. Right. It's, he didn't grow super huge. But, I mean, I also never I mean, read the DC vampire storyline, so. I mean, if you did, though, you're... Todd's putting out all the vampires. You've got your know. Batman, Superman, Green Lantern, Mr. Mixelplick even. So, who's the next one? And folks at home, uh, I bet one, you can guess. It's, it's not, a Batman. If, if it's not Jokerized, it's a Batman. It's a Batman. Uh, this is New 52 Batman, though. Yeah. So, I think a lot of people liked when they did this like redesign. Mm-hmm. Took away the trunks, if I remember right. It's kind of when he first started appearing without his his gray or without the black undies. Mm-hmm. So it's just like solid color. Yeah. Um, I could see people wanting that. Yeah. I, I mean, that's the thing about Batman. You know, he's got so many suits. It's like keep him. You know, whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, this to me seems like the most interesting out of the bunch <laughs> yeah. for me like if i were to say i had to buy one of these but yeah even then i don't think i need them i mean for me the most interesting and the one i probably want to pick up is the last one and that's daffy duck flame variant <laughs> what does that even mean <laughs> exactly jordan what does that mean I, it's got to be looney tunes daffy duck right but flame Var- like there isn't he, he didn't even put there's, out a regular there's DC no multiverse regu- Daffy Duck. And when is uh, Daffy Duck has, part of the Has he ever joined the DC I mean obviously they do like Duck Dodgers, but if it's right. just Daffy Duck, that's different. <laughs> exactly. Flame variant. <laughs> it just no context, just Daffy Duck on fire. <laughs> <laughs> that would be fun. No reason. No oh, reason. That would be good. But that's got we that has to mean we're getting more Looney Tunes, right? Like maybe this is just in here to throw us for a total loop. Like this isn't actually happening, but I don't know. Most most of these leaks start coming out like a week later. So I know. But does that does that mean we're gonna get? Usually, as soon as we post these, it's like sometimes within like days. Right. So who knows? So does that mean we're gonna get like a Bugs Bunny Ice version or something? I, because if he <laughs> yeah if he starts making looney tunes i'm gonna start collecting them i, I might right. wait for him to go on clearance though because really what is the demand for looney tunes but i love looney tunes so i'll collect them man demand is is you yeah <laughs> he's just making them for no. me yeah i'll take them yeah, it's just kind of an odd assortment for sure. Yeah, it, it really is. It kind of feels like, a, like, I don't know. I would normally imagine these would be like spaced out throughout the year because it's almost like they're so specific. Mm-hmm. 
I wonder if it's gonna be like like you could almost do a whole Jokerized wave, which I mean he's he's already done, so I guess that's not even revolutionary. He's Jokerized the, the Dark, Dark Knight, Knight figures, okay. yeah. So I guess never mind. That's not even an original idea I just had there. Um, yeah, I don't know. I out of these, the new Fifty Two Batman kind of intrigues me, but how many Batmans do I need? And I don't I don't think that's gonna be the one. We'll see when it comes out what it looks like. Um, but I think I would probably lean more towards the either Nightfall or Hush Batman. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or I'm going to have that Spawn 2-pack Batman coming in. So I really don't need that Batman. Daffy Duck, it's just the flame variant does kind of throw me off. Like, what does that mean? <laughs> but maybe I'll get it. We'll see. It'd be funny. <sighs> All right. That's that for Todd. That's it for Todd. So let us know if you're going to pl- plan on picking any of these up. Why so many Jokerized things? Are Ma- Is there anyone out there who's buying all this Joker merch? You just, could have a full collection of just Jokerized things. So let us know what you think in the comments. And until next time, stay strong. Stay strong.